At the age of eight, I was living in America, and that's where I had my first swim training. This consisted of me having to jump in ice cold water and swim as far as I could. I still remember how my friends were crying because of the cold, and their parents would keep pushing them back in the water, telling them to continue swimming. My mom would always ask me at this point if I wanted to get out of the water, but I wouldn't, and I would continue swimming because I enjoyed it so much. And that is when I found my passion for swimming. Ever since then, I've been training at a more serious level, requiring me to train longer hours and more frequently. I eventually started attending the Dutch National Championships, and I joined a top sport talent center where I could continue to excel in my swimming, currently allowing me to train 14 hours a week. Around the age of 13, I noticed that I was swimming faster in trainings than I was in competitions. This really affected my self-confidence. However, I assumed that it would pass by. I started training harder and longer, and I started training myself physically because I thought that this was why I wasn't swimming as fast as I could. So I thought of another solution, and that was mental training. Mental training is the process whereby you train your mind to gain more self-confidence. There is an example of a runner in the 1960s who wanted to run the mile under the four minutes. However, scientists and doctors stated that it would be physically impossible to do so. Many even attempted to run the mile under the four minutes by tying bulls behind them to increase the incentive to do the impossible. Then one day, a man actually ran the mile under the four minutes, and that same year, another three men ran the mile under the four minutes. And now this time is run by high school runners at competitions. This just shows that if you believe, you can achieve. A type of mental training exercise is called visualization. This is the process whereby a, vi whereby a swimmer visualizes their race, something that they want to do well, something that you think needs repetition. By imagining it over and over again in your mind, you create a tape that can simply be played off when it is time for you to perform. Another type of mental training exercise is called affirmations. This is when you repeat a positive, powerful word to yourself. This blanks out the negative thoughts and overruns your mind with that one positive, powerful word, such as speed or strength. This builds up self-confidence and distracts your mind from thinking any negative thoughts. I'm going to do this exercise with you here today. So repeat after me. I am power. I am power. <laughs> you see, the problem with this exercise is that a lot of people think they look silly shouting out a word like that. But the louder you shout it, the more self-confidence you actually develop. So repeat after me. I am power. I am power. One more time. I am power. I am power. <laughs> that was much better. This technique actually works best when you're standing in front of a mirror and you're actually approaching it as you're saying your affirmation. This makes it seem like you're competing with yourself and you're convincing yourself to gain more self-confidence. I've talked mainly about swimming but you can apply these mental training exercises to your daily life. For example, if you're having self-confidence problems or if you're not achieving something that you know you can achieve. So I started doing these mental training exercises and I noticed improvement in my competitions. I was finally swimming faster in competitions than I was in trainings, and I was finally achieving the times that I knew I could achieve. You can use these mental training exercises to overcome challenges in your daily life so believe in yourself, and don't underestimate the power of the mind. Thank you.